Here we have a very nice looking 2007 Honda Civic VTEC in silver. The car is in very nice condition for its age, as you'll see in the video. If we start with the offside front tyre, tread wise, we've got around 3 to 4mm of tread there. Looking at the offside front alloy, um, very nice condition with no signs of any curving at all. Very little minor scuff at the top, um, but apart from that, like I said, absolutely spotless. So that's great. Looking down the offside of the vehicle itself, um, you've got a small dent towards the offside rear, which I'll show in a second, and you've also got a small um, dink in the uh, driver's door, you might be able to see that. Again, I'll show that in a second, but apart from that, no signs of any dents, any other dents, sorry, or any damage on the vehicle. A couple of light scratches to the mirror caps there, those should polish out no problem. Looking at the driver's door itself, um, that's just a bit of glue, so I wouldn't worry about that, that does come off. A um, couple of light scratches and little marks on the driver's door. A couple of little things you would expect, really, just a few age related marks. Um, again, to the door sill, again, just a few stone chips. Um, just requires some touchings. Looking at the door edge here, very little minor nicks here and there. Um, very small little scuff to the bottom there as well. I'm just showing you this small dink. As you can see, it's more of a line. Um, very, very light, um, you can't really feel it at all, um, so it shouldn't be a problem that. Apart from that though, nice condition, um, sills appear to be in nice condition. And take a look at the roof, very clean, with no signs of any damage or any dents there at all. Looking at the rear passenger door, again, just a very few, couple of little minor marks here and there. Again, most of them should polish out. Door edge is very clean, in nice condition. And then, like I said, you've got this small dent towards the offside rear here. It's about fingertip size, so just be aware of that there. And then looking at the offside rear tyre, you're looking at around 5 to 6 mm of tread on the rear, so plenty of rear tread there. And then looking at the offside rear alloy, again, very nice condition with no signs of any curbing at all, so that's great. Moving to the rear of the vehicle, you can see on the um, plastics here, um, they are starting to fade a little bit, as you can see. Moving around to the rear of the vehicle. I'm looking at the back here, very clean, no signs of any damage at all. I can't see any signs of any dinks or any dents. A couple of light little marks here and there as well. A couple of light little scratches to the back. Again, it should polish out no problem. Apart from that though, very clean looking car. No signs of any damage at all, so that's great. Moving more towards the near side of the vehicle. A couple of light little scratches here on the arch, again just need a bit of a polish. But looking at the near side rear tyre, again you've got around 5 to 6 mil of tread. And then looking at the near side rear alloy, um, again great condition, no signs of any curbing or any marks at all. Looking down the near side of the vehicle, again taking a good look, again very clean, no signs of any dinks that I can spot, um, no signs of any dents, and especially no signs of any damage. Um, just notice a small dink actually in the different light, it's a bit awkward. Um, just show you that now. Just around here on the front passenger door. Again, very light, so it shouldn't be a problem at all. Apart from that though, um, again, just a couple of light little marks here and there. Door edge on the rear passenger door is fine with no signs of any chips at all. Moving to the front passenger door, again, door side edge there, very clean with no signs of any marks and literally just a couple of light and very little scratches here and there. Overall though, very nice condition. Again looking at the front here, you've got around 3mm and looking at the near side front alloy. Again no signs of any curbing at all. A couple of light little scuffs here and there as you can see and a couple of light scratches. Overall for its age though, very impressive. Um, look at the front arch here, I don't know if it's uh, anything major or if it's just seems a little bit out there, uh, might just need to clip them back in but as you can see it comes out a little bit, again nothing major at all moving to the front, just a couple of light little scratches on the front bumper a couple of light little stone chips looking at the bonnet, a couple of light scratches again as you can see those should polish up no problem and a couple of little specks of stone chips here and there just require a few touchings, apart from that though again absolutely spotless, no signs of any damage at all so it's a great looking vehicle Moving to the interior, just uh, get the car open. As you can see, you've got two sets of keys with the vehicle, which is great. 
And no problems at all with the central lock in there. Looking in the back, you get this um, nice sort of suede finish interior. Very nice condition, no signs of any damage, no rips or tears, and very clean as well. Back of the seats are spotless, and so is the rest of the interior in the back here. Looking in the front of the vehicle, I'm having the driver's seat. As you can see, it's on a nice sort of uh, grey and uh, silver interior. Again, spotless, a little bit of wear into the holster, we would expect that really. But overall, very nice condition. And the same with the front passenger seat. Now look at the rest of the interior, you can see the car's clearly been looked after very well. Uh, dash, etc. is in spotless condition. And so is the steering wheel and mats, etc. So it's very nice condition overall. Step inside, I can show you the mileage, etc. Like I said, you do get um, two sets of keys, and if we just get the car started up, it is a push start. As you can hear, no problem at all starting the vehicle. 58,423 miles on the clock, so very low mileage as well, and no symbols on the dash date to be aware of. Look at the system, you've got your aircon here, AC on, AC off, as you can see, so that's working perfectly fine. And no problems at all with any of the blowers, everything's functioning just how it should. CD and radio here. And as you can hear, no problems at all with the sound. That sounds great. And everything works perfectly fine. Mind the transmission. If take a quick look at the documents now. V5, the car's had two owners. It does come with an MOT certificate, which ends here September 26, 2014. So plenty left with the MOT for the vehicle. And just to top it off, we do get full franchise service history. Um, looking at here, all Honda, 16, 25, 36... Uh, again at 36 there, um, you've got 48 and then 57,000 miles, literally just serviced as well, as you can see 10th of the 9th 2013, so that's great. So there we have it guys, that is the 2007 Honda Civic SI VTEC, the car is absolutely spotless, needs a bit of a polish, it's recently been serviced and it could go straight onto your pitch.